Hello everyone, welcome to our daily physics problem, day 10. So today let's look at a shorter problem. Let's find the tension of each point on a rope with mass m and length l that's rotating according to one end with n growth velocity, omega, and another end attached to a ball with mass m, big M. So I want you to pause the video, try on your own. After you try, come back to the video, and then I'll show you how I did it. So welcome back for to approach this problem, uh, we need to discuss the ball and the rope separately. Because if you want to just calculate the rope, it's easier. Just calculate the ball, it's also easier. Normally in AP Physics, we do that. But here, we need to talk about them combinedly. And we need, cannot negligate the mass of the rope. So let's first talk about the rope situation. Let's draw an uh, enlarged rope here. And of course, we need to integrate this part. Let's first choose our integration variable, dx. And then we know the length of the rope is l, and the distance from the origin to dx will be r. Then we define the linear density of the rope as lambda. Lambda is our lin linear density. Uh, linear density will be equal to m divided by l. So now we can try to solve for our centripetal force. Centripetal force is uh, uh, being attended by the tension force. So we know F, actually DF, will be M times V squared over R. Uh, that will be equal to M times omega squared times R. Then we know M, the mass, because we know our integration variable and our uh, linear density. We can know it's lambda times linear density. Uh, the linear density times dx times omega squared times r. And then we replace linear density by m over l. Plug it back in again, we got m over l times omega squared times r times dx. And now, what are we gonna, which direction we're going to in integrate? Of to the right. Because when the rope is rotating around, the parts that's behind r or drag it uh, outward, centrifugal force. So we can integrate it from R to L. Then we do some integration. We got M divided by L times omega squared times L squared divided by minus R squared divided by two. And then at last, we need to add up our centrifugal force for the mass ball, the ball m times omega squared times l, that will be our centrifugal force for the ball. Then that will be our final answer here.